Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We'd like to wish you a happy Thanksgiving from our family to yours, especially you texting because you're always supporting our videos. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're bringing you a holiday gift idea. This is what, our third one? I think, yeah, I think, I think it's our third one. Uh, possibly. So okay. it's not annual, almost annual? We're, we're getting to it, but this one is going to be our RV edition. Yeah, because since we're both RV and live, living full time, we thought we'd give you guys some gift ideas for that person that RVs in your family or who or you might you're even, even yourself, if somebody goes, oh, what do you want for Christmas? You, you might not have some of these things and go, oh, well, I could actually use that, throw it on your list, and maybe Santa will come for you. Yeah, these are some of the things we use, like, all the time. Yeah, we just uh, we kind of assembled some of our things together and we're like, okay, this is kind of must-haves for RV. Um, ours are mostly more full-time, but definitely has application if you're just camping on the weekends yeah. and stuff. It's, it's good to have. So uh, With that being said, let's uh, bring let's, some of those let's in. jump to it. So our first item in this list is the dehumidifier. Uh, these will run you anywhere from like 25 to... And up. Yeah, 25 and up, we'll just say base. Uh, the size will depend on the size of your RV, but these are definitely must-haves. You want to keep that humidity inside your camper minimum if you can. Otherwise, I don't know if some of you guys have seen videos or even personally experienced, you wake up in the morning, all your windows are like dewy. Right, well, condensation. not dewy, condensation. Yeah. This will kind of get rid of that. Some so of you, it, not all. A good portion of it, yeah. though, depending on your climate. So uh, in my RV, it's, uh, what, 34? No. 32 yeah. foot? 30, yeah. Man, how am I forgetting? I don't know, 32 foot. Thir thir yeah, 32 foot. I have two of these. I have one in the bedroom, so that kind of covers bedroom, bathroom, and then one in the living room that kind of covers the living room and kitchen. Uh, when we take showers, still keep your vents open. Yeah. You don't want to unnecessarily put st uh, steam or humidity into your RV. And what's cool about this one, it's, it's really quiet, first off, and it has this nice lights, doesn't it? Yep, so there's just two button operation right on the front. I can show you guys a little bit better. Just two buttons, so one powers it on, and then if you press the other one, it'll adjust the light. This also has a light kind of built in, so you can kind of change colors. Uh, there's green, yellow, red, and this also has a sensor in here, so once it fills up, it will shut itself off, so you don't have to worry about if you were at work or something. It's easy to empty. It, it fill, yeah, that it's emptying's as easy as twist. Pull it off, you could take off this little lid, pour out your stuff. I just poured it, so we'll still see it drip. <laughs> Put it, reassemble it. And these come Twist. in different sizes for your square footage. Yeah, so you can I, adjust. I run three of these, and one of them is a big one. Yeah. In the big area, but you know, it's, it, in the summer when your air conditioner is running, they won't fill as fast. But when you're not running your air conditioner as much, they'll fill up a lot faster. Uh, one thing I do want to note is this is like 110 outlet for a house plug. So if you're not hooked into shore power, this isn't really going to work for you. Right now, you'll have to be kind of hooked up to use your outlets. Yeah, and it, it takes very minimal power. So if you, for those of you on solar. This will run like for days on solar. So. Exactly. So let's uh, let's get the next one. And the next item, playing off of their last one, these here, these are pretty handy. They come in a kit. Get these on Amazon or lots of places you shop. It's the air purifying bags. They they absorb moisture, smells. These ones, uh, there's no chemicals. They're toxic, fragrance free, all that good stuff. I'm saying bamboo, charcoal, all that good. It's, these play off of the dehumidifiers. So put these in your closets. Yeah, closets. Pantry. Oh, pantry's definitely a good idea. I'd also say possibly throw them in like a storage bay, yeah. things like that, just to keep any kind of moisture down. They come in a variety of sizes. This is a real skinny one, maybe a small closet, a little bigger for them, bigger areas like you're under storage, like he was mentioning. Yep. Uh, but they come in kits, and they're, they're, that's a cheap gift idea that does a, does a lot. Exactly, especially a lot of people forget about the closets a lot of times because they're kind of enclosed but like if you've ever opened your closet you can tell there's temperature difference humidity yeah. same thing with your pantry you don't want too much moisture in your pantry you'll start to notice stuff sticking clumping together so i mean no. quick buy one of these throw it in there you kind of solve that problem these ones didn't come with the strings they come with the eyelet but not the strings we just use some paracord mm -hmm. just to make some hangers for them but uh, you can use fishing line or shoe strings whatever you want but these are these are really handy so that sums up two. So let's jump to number three. Okay, hit me with the next item. Item three. We have the Yolink. Uh, well, first of all, a lot to say about Yolink. They have a yeah. whole bunch of different things, but this is a water detecting sensor. So you'll see it's got two prongs on the front and then on the back it has four prongs. So you would just set this anywhere. Yeah. And then if water were to touch it, any water were to drip on top of it, uh, there's Yolink has a whole system. It's like a hub, so I can connect a whole bunch of these sensors. It'll notify me by phone. It'll text me. I can have it call me, email me. You can get the siren, so you can have it where if you start to spring a leak, it'll siren to let you know if it was the yep. middle of the night and you might not get to your phone or you keep it on silent. Like we always say in all our videos, that water is 
the killer of all RVs. So anything you do to mitigate that, this is a must. I'm have. holding this very delicately because mine's installed right now. Exactly. So if I touch the prongs and I have too much moisture on there, I'm gonna have alarms going off. This this particular kit came with the the hub, which you can attach a bunch of different devices. Yep. Rolling devices and four water sensors, but uh, you can attach other stuff. They have thermostats. There, there, there's so many. Yeah, indoor outdoor so, thermostats, the, sirens. Oh, the one thing I cameras. did want to I did want to say with this too is uh, you can actually have kind of like commands for this. So if this were to yep. detect water. If I had the, what is it? Kind water of like the, off. yeah, the water shut off, like the actuator, yeah. I could have it where if this registered water was hitting it, I could have my water shut oh. itself off automatically. So if I was at work or something and nobody's here, I mean, just the time for me to, you know, get that notification and be like, I gotta go home. You could flood your whole camper depending on how bad the leak was. Yeah, so it, it, these are handy. We're gonna have a video coming out on just these because there, there's so much to talk about on this and it's so Just handy. this alone, because we're kind of converting did you RV. have an issue the other day where it sent some water? Oh yeah, under uh, your sink or something. Yeah, it was under under my sink, my uh, seal around the bottom of my drain. It wasn't fully sealed, so uh, I was holding water in it. I was defrosting some uh, defrosting some hamburger in, in the bathroom. <laughs> well, as, you know, the sink was full. I was cooking, so defrosting it, and then the water was slowly dripping down the pipe underneath. And then I had this underneath the pipe, so as the water started to fill, it dripped right on top. I heard the alarm go off. It starts texting my phone, so yeah. then it tells me like bathroom sensor. Uh, noticed the leak. So then I went to it, found it, got it fixed later that day. So it saves you from a lot of water damage. I mean, we got one under the sink, behind the toilet. I um, need to put one behind the toilet, but yeah. Yeah, behind the toilet, under the sinks. Wet bay. Wet I have bay. one in the wet yep. bay just in case anything was leaking in there, starting to cause a problem, I could detect it. You're definitely going to want that, especially if you're full timing. You're going to want this. Yeah. I'm telling you we're, right we're now. pretty much converting the RV to kind of a smart home kind of thing. So since we're full time RVers, we're not going to be in the RV 24 seven. There's times where, you know, you're going to be working. RV is going to be unattended for, you know, eight to 10 hours a day. So you want to make sure no water damage, nobody's breaking in, making sure the temperature is good in case you have any animals. And let's say the power were to go out or something like that and your AC is not working, especially yeah. here in Florida, you know, you have to be consciously aware of what's going on in the RV. So you, you just never know. So this is that step. So this right is direction. the start. There's more pieces of this. If you guys stay tuned to the channel, probably within a few videos, we're going to be kind of giving a, a good rundown of the Yo Link and a whole bunch of their products. So and like the most have ones to get you started. Yeah, so, like yeah. the Jimmy Two Tech Yo Link kit. Yeah, I'm just, just it'll, it'll be a thing. You're going to want first. We'll, we'll set you up with that. So look for that video. So let's hop to number four. All right, guys, number four coming in. Boom. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that do the RV in, but the RV, the RV locks, the smart locks, the electronic locks, must haves. Because a lot of these RVs, when they come out, the keys yep. like all fit. It's like a master key on all of them. Yeah, you could have a neighbor a few spots down that just be like, yeah, let me fits. try my key and it'll work. So on one of our, my older campers, I had I was in a campground and the guy lost his key. I gave him mine. It worked on his door. <laughs> so it, just to show you how yeah, it, it's, it's, it's not as secure. But this here, get you guys a closer look. This is the version four, I think. Uh, right-handed because they do have left-handed if your door opens that way mm -hmm. you can it gives you a key fob so you can press it from a key fob you can put in a code or you can use a key so three ways of getting in the, the key fob is definitely handy too because rv doors open out so you want to unlock it before you know you have a handful of groceries you don't yeah. want to walk up there start typing in your code you want to already have it unlocked so you can just go these are super easy to put into if you guys haven't seen our video we got a video putting these in on my rv We'll put it. Yeah, somewhere. we'll we'll try to put it there. YouTube's not so, always yeah, so, great about putting it up there. But we do have, these go in super simple. They can get. I mean, it's a little bit of a sticker shock, but they're worth it. The security and the, being the smart home. Part Just of throw it. them like in your Amazon cart and. Uh, Planes overhead. Yeah. Oh, keep them in your Amazon cart. Kind of watch the price. I'd say because sometimes they yeah. do drop a little bit. Especially around now. I I think right now. RV Lock has a Black Friday sale going on, 40% off everything on their website. Well, That's I'm, at the time of this video. I though. might have to so snag one of those. So when you look at it, it might not be that way, but check for Cyber Monday. It might run the same deal. Yeah, exactly. So it'd be an awesome thing to put in. So check, look look for that. So we are on to five. Five. So number five. Thank you so much. So this one, I mean, this brand is Philips, but these are kind of just like plug extenders, I'll, I'll call them, but it's a surge protector at the same time, which is very good with RVs because if you're at a resort, you know, you do have times where your power oh, shuts off and, you know. So this one right here has a total of six. And as you see the back, just one that you would plug into your RV. If you do plug it in there, it's gonna take up both of your spots. Uh, I do wanna say that there is a plastic tab in the bottom here to kind of help support it. Uh, 
the one I have in mind specifically, I actually kind of cut that off because it was in the way. Like I didn't have a grounding port in one of my oh. plugs. So it was it was preventing it from actually going flat. So it takes your two outlets, turns them in the six, and also adds two USB charging which, ports. Which is pretty good. Ooh, that bug. I mean, you can guess. get these that don't aren't, uh, you know, protected. Yeah, protected. you could just get like one that just goes from one to three. Um, for some of you guys, I would recommend maybe one that goes from one to three or something. I do want to keep in, keep in mind for you, you are in an RV, so a lot of your plugs are like 15, 15 amp breakers. 15 so amp, yeah. it's not like you're going to fill up all six of these and be using something at the same time. Like you air fryers, toasters, not Yeah, it's one. like the one I have in my kitchen has the air fryer and a toaster. I think it has a Keurig too, but I'm not using those all at the same time. And then if I was using the air, uh, air fryer, I probably wouldn't be using another high volt. Of course, your sucker. first line of defense is your main surge protector on your pedestal outside your RV. Yeah, for but, the whole thing. But all that sense of electronics just doesn't hurt to have your redundance. Exactly. Uh, we have the one for the RV. I also have my uh, desktop on its own surge protector. Surge protector yeah. I have a bigger one of these that has like nine. I'm only keeping the computer components pretty much plugged into it, but so that's a surge protector. The RV's got a surge protector. Just, you know, it's better to keep it safe because you do have moments where voltage will fluctuate in the RV park and like our surge protectors will kind of trip and it'll take like a minute or two and then the power will come back on. But if your computer was on, you don't want to blow something, so. There's never enough outlets in an RV, it seems. Because you get your phone, your tablet, your smartwatch, your everything. It's just like you're run, you're run on. Yeah. So keep in mind too, if you do use this for your bedroom, I mean, if you're just charging your phone and stuff, fill up all six by all means. Like that's not gonna yeah. suck a lot of juice. So you can get everything all in one hub and try to keep yourself some open outlets. And this particular brand comes in a variety of colors. If you want to color match inside your RV. Yeah, my kitchen one is black, just because right. it kind of matches that color. I this think they even had like a, some brighter colors if you wanted that, like that, but. Very handy to have. You, you'll, you'll realize you need it. So I think we can uh, <laughs> jump to the to. outside stuff now. So this is number... We'll number bring, six will we'll kind of be six. stuff you're going to use on the outside of your rig. All right. All right, guys. Number six. This is something we use all the time on the outside of the rig, especially during the fall, this blower. We happen to have the wall because that's the system we use the batteries for already, but mm -hmm. Ryobi, a bunch of other ones have something similar. Jobs. These, this is the job site blower. Yeah. So this little smaller compact, this screws, screws off. And also comes with an attachment so you can blow up like uh, air mattresses and stuff like and, that and toys like that but you use this to clean off the roof of your rv your patio yeah so if you're already a dewalt person why this is nice is because i mean it is battery powered so if you already have extra batteries yep. i mean they're going to work for this as you said that's a big reason why we go dewalt we already have dewalt drills and everything so we have a pretty good surplus of these batteries that makes the blower affordable for us because now you yeah you're just buying tool. the tool only probably costing between 100 to like 130 dollars. i know it fluctuates yeah, it does like, quite a bit if you you watch these a lot it's kind of like its own little market you so, can find them for like 98 bucks all day long. But yeah, this, you'll find a use for everything, blowing leaves off. Uh, I go on the roof almost every every weekend and just give a quick blow off of anything that fell off from the tree. This is probably one of the most used things we use outside. Oh yeah, I use that at least probably twice a week minimum because I usually always come out here, blow the leaves off because we're in fall or ending fall. I've even used this to blow up uh, my paddle boards. Yeah. Most of the way. I mean, and you then can't to, get the yeah, full the pressure, pressure but, but to speed it along. For that and blow off your car or whatever, but very handy. Get yourself one of those. The space too. I mean, it doesn't take as much space as a leaf blower. You, once you take this pipe off of here, this thing's so small. I mean, that's so tiny. Easy for storage and with RVing, you need to conserve your space. I mean, that's precious to you. It's not like you have infinite amount of space. And this one's cool because it does have a selector switch on the speeds. If you just want something a little slower, you can go slower. Yep. And it locks in. Yeah, and so, good power too. On to number seven. seven. Okay. Number Hit seven, me. guys. All right, so this one is a very important one, especially for me. I, I use this yeah. the most for uh, flushing out the black tank, like actually hooking a hose up. So very important here. So oh. Some people use these ones to hook their RV up to water, but we just use the water hoses. This one here is, this is one of those uh, yeah, it's, it's very them? flexible. Hoses. Yeah, so like you act, it, as you see, it fits into like this little bag. This doesn't come, the bag doesn't come with the hose or we also have. We purchased the bag because it's aerated and it'll dry out your hose. And uh, an attachment for nozzle, it. nozzle, yeah. But this is just so nice because when you actually start to get like traditional household hose, I mean, 
it takes up a lot of space. It's really stiff. If you're trying to do, you know, tight little angles or something, it's a pain. So this going up into this bag and then actually being so flexible is perfect for RV stuff. Yeah, it takes up less space. Especially if you're going on your roof, you want to wash off your roof. You don't have like a hard hose that's like slamming off of stuff. This is I mean, it has, it has, this one happens to be the zero G. It has the nice aluminum ends, if I can grab it here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty deep in the bag. You can see it has, that's all aluminum. It works. It works really nice. I mean, there's other brands that make it. Aqua Joe has one now, and there's yeah. other brands, but they come in a variety of footage. This one's only fifty, which most well, of well, that's that's mostly everything. I think you would really use for your RV. But as I'm saying, clean again, your RV, clean your truck. Space savings. I mean, this is so tiny. I can throw it in there and not like I think my old hose that I was using. I have it like looped up and then put into like a garbage can to try to keep it yeah, closer it's, together. It's it just takes up a lot of space. So Imagine this, a fifty foot garden hose rolled up the size yeah. of this it, it, this is perfect and then if you do get a bag i mean if your hose is wet it, it lets your hose dry out you know yeah. so yeah go perfect make sure you get a bag like that. i don't even know what number we're going to we're next. going to number eight guys so let's go get that number eight guys incoming the thermocell careful it's on this so one's on but thermocells these things are awesome you know a lot of people's complaints is the bugs outside this here helps with that i mean it's all natural chrysanthemum plants or something they've got a little pad in there and it runs off butane you just click it these come in a variety of colors sizes what else we got we got so, another well, one that one's good for the picnic table that's what i wanted yeah, to mention this one here yeah as you can tell by the color it's my wife's but it sits on a picnic table this works great okay and then the next we have the thermosel this is more for this is like when we were camping and stuff yeah camping hunting outdoor stuff at this one like these bags on the outside come in different colors mm -hmm. But this we just here, had you camo because they were for our go bags. You clip this on your belt. These things work amazing. Yes. I've seen. There's a whole bunch of videos on YouTube. You guys there check is. them out. There's this one guy, guy in, in Canada. Yeah. He was surrounded by them. He let this thing. Then bugs just scattered. Yep. So it works. I can attest to it. Mm. So these these are two two of them so far. And then I'll come in frame with the third for you. So this is another one of the thermocells. This one is what battery rechargeable. Yeah. This one's rechargeable and has like a liquid that goes in it normally. Instead of these are butane in so a patch. A little USB here so you can actually lift it up and charge it. And these come in even bigger sizes. They got ones for big patios. Thermosal has a big range of these, but these are the three we have right now. Yeah, but again, for how we use, so like a picnic table, this is good. You can also use this for a picnic table. And then this one's more for doing stuff outside and we're working on something because we can clip it right to us, kind of keep the bugs away. I could show you guys. These ones run off the little butane cartridges mm -hmm. right here. And then they got little... This one's got it too. I'm sure he showed you the bottom, but the butane cartridge right in there. And then you can't see them, but there's little pads that go in them that have the uh, stuff to keep the bugs away. So really handy, especially if you're outside at all. Here in Florida, these no seams are... That's what, I guess, if you see a SWAT and they're moving around, it's probably the no seams. You don't see them. They're, you no see them. That's how... Yeah, yeah, they're tiny, but man, they get right... I mean, I can usually feel most bugs that got hair in my arms, but... Yeah, those ones are just... They get right through They're there. tiny. But these help out a lot, so for that person that's picking your and they don't have these they'll be happy to have it yeah so with that Number being said let's nine. nine we'll top to nine we have the airtight this was good for uh keeping your silicone lap sealant oh there we go anything like that these particular ones are for the 10 ounce tubes yeah which is mostly what you, type, you see yeah. most of the time anyway but you know, just picture yourself, put yourself in the position. I'm sure it's happened to you. You go, oh, I got a silicone something. I got to put some lap sealing up there. You go to grab your silicone. You either put a screw in there before yeah. or have a cap. You or take tape. it off. You put it in your gun. You start to tighten it. It's stuck. Yeah, it's, it's, it's plugged. It's dried out. Then you have to spend like the next two, three minutes trying to like shove something in there, pull it out, un unstick it. It's, it's a real pain. So something as simple as this, even this though it seems super simple, I mean, this is going to save you in the span of your life a whole bunch of minutes. And, and money because these tubes will last a lot longer now. What makes these cool is, I, you, I don't know if you guys can see it, but in there, there's a, a small thing that goes in the tip of the tube. It's open. It goes in the tip of there. Yep. And each end, this end and the bottom end have a rubber gasket. So when you close it, it keeps all the air out. Yeah. But as you were saying, saving you money too. I mean, sometimes when it is plugged, you try to squeeze the handle on the gun a little bit too much and it blows out of the back and pretty yeah. much you, your whole thing's just trashed at that point because it, it's coming out of the end. So and, and nine times out of 10, you only need a little bit for some, for a job. You don't want to waste the whole yeah, tube. Yeah, it's like when I, I go on the roof there every other weekend, if I see something, I go, ah, I wouldn't mind putting a little lap sealant down or I could silicone this section. This just makes it so much easier. I'm like, it'll take me two seconds. I actually, most of the time, put it in my pocket when I go up there. 
because it's just it's, cake it's, that way. Yeah, and then, it, I mean, these are game changer. So, I always complained about it. So airtight, you said they come in different sizes too, right? For this I, is I for a 10. I believe they do. Um, this is for the 10 ounce regular cartridge. So give you guys a little close up of it. As you see, just quick unscrew and you're done. Perfect. I'm telling you, these things are game see, changer. You guys don't think of these things, but that's why we're here for you. So. <laughs> yeah. And believe me, it's somebody, if you got a handy person in your life that, what do I get him that he doesn't have? This is probably it. Yeah, and these things don't, they're not gonna break the bank. I mean. No, I think you get two for like, 14 bucks or something? which which isn't bad because a lot of the times i mean You're i know that in the first in, tube in our rv i mean i probably keep two things of silicone two things of lap sealant yeah. like i i keep a, a good amount of stuff so so just buying this will save the first tube you waste you wish you bought these now speaking of rv maintenance number 10 is going to bust us into uh some cleaning so if my mother would be so kind <laughs> perfect thank you so this is the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser Roller Mop. So he has good experience with this. Is, as you see, this one's like new. Tell him a little bit about it, because I know you were cleaning was, somebody's awning there. Yeah, the I was other helping day. somebody out cleaning their awning the other day, and they got the white underneath their awning, which, you know, if you have a white one, it always has those black streaks on it. Yep. And I'm trying to clean it. I have a cleaner for it with a brush. It's kind of coming off, but you still see it. Yeah. Then my neighbor, Rich, thanks, Rich, for the advice. Brought over his magic eraser mop. That thing was, it was like night and day different. It's seriously a magic eraser like you would see at the store. So yeah, it, yeah these, like there's the head for one. Yeah, these things here, it, it cleaned that awning like I've never seen. Yep. So as soon as I used his, I went out and bought one because I'm, I'm gonna have to do ours. And you keep in mind too, you wanna keep your awning in tip top position and that uh, tip top shape. shape yeah. And you also wanna make sure you are going to the top, washing it once in a while and UV, UV protect. Yeah. Cause I mean, your awning goes bad you're looking at at least a thousand dollar bill at Probably, least yeah. just if you right can't around it yourself exactly so just keep that in mind something like this and you can use it for other stuff too you probably clean the side of your rv right possibly i, I guess you could i mean <laughs> I, I don't know if it would necessarily be good, i just but, know it works really good for the awning like yeah. i said that my friend rich there showed that to me and it, it works so i mean it worked great yeah it doesn't take up too much space and uh and you keep not, things clean they're not that expensive so it's it's, it's going to make your job of cleaning which nobody likes to do whole lot easier. So throughout this video, you saw a, a, a wide range of different types of things. Prices will vary, so you can kind of pick and choose what you want. I mean, there are a whole bunch of gift ideas that we have that aren't gonna break the bank or things that people don't always think about. And like something like this, you don't think about it, lifesaver. I mean. Or even this, I mean, you're trying to think, oh, I can't clean my own. This works and better the than the and cleaner. The application of just like dehumidifiers, things that take moisture yeah. out and stuff, Cheap very pounds. important in an RV, because as we're saying, moisture is a killer. I know in Florida now, we're getting to the cooler weather, we'll say. Cooler. We're from New York, so this is beautiful. We're Thanksgiving, actually ate outside today. Yeah. Don't, don't think that's ever happened I've Never us. done that, no. Uh, yeah, so as it cools down, you run the air conditioner a little bit less and you do have more humidity down here. So you keep this, I, I probably empty this out at least once a week. It'll completely fill up or really close to it. And I just empty it. So for around 30 bucks for this size, it, it's, you, you can't, that's awesome. I know $60. And I, I, when I wake up in the morning, the windows aren't like condensate condensation. It keeps it cooler in there too, less humidity, especially if you're not running the air conditioner. It makes me feel better about leaving the windows open as well. So some of that humidity yeah. that comes in, you're going to take care of it. It's going to take it. Yeah. So most of this is like I said, fairly affordable. This is probably the most expensive thing, the, the electronic lock, but it'll give you many years of service. It'll last for a long time. Yeah, but it's just good to have. You, like we're trying to convert stuff a little more smarter, safer, especially since we're full time. You don't want somebody to just be able to have a key to open your RV. Yeah, so. just walking in on there and like, oh, what can I help myself to? Right, so having that's important too. So I think that pretty much sums up this video. Yeah, that's our 10 ideas we think will cover most people that are RVing. Yeah, I, well, we might, Hmm. I don't know. We can probably throw in a few bonus. I know we were thinking about it. All right, them. bonus time, guys. Let's go check out a couple bonus items. So for a bonus item, this is going to cost you a little bit, but let me tell you, this is going to make a world of difference. This is the sunshade. If you want to go over there and kind of be like my model for this. Yeah. So yeah. these sunshade guys, these are fantastic. They'll go right into your uh, awning slide. You'll see here, at least this one, how it installs. It slides right in there. So this one's a little bit long. This was for years. Yeah, but... We just kind of brought it, it here for Turkey Day. Too small for mine, but too big for yours. Yeah, but like for me, this isn't going to make work. much of a difference. It hangs fine. I'll take it. Slides right in there. They do have other ones that do have like a zipper there. 
so you can kind of roll it, up yeah, roll it up in there for quick ease. For us to take it out, we would just have to undo it down there and then slide it out. So it's still not too bad, but it's just something that, you know, would throw out there. But these are fantastic because they do stop a, quite a bit of the sun, kind of diffuses the sun coming in. Yeah, it stops like, what, I think 85% of the, the sun stuff. Yeah, and you can adjust how far it goes. So this is kind of the angle we picked. So let me see. Yeah, they come in a variety of different Ooh. lengths. If you want it shorter, it only come to here. Yeah. Or if you want to angle it more and have it come out, to, yeah, so make it's it kind of it's kind of up to you. For me, most of the, uh, I mean, my awning doesn't fully cover my cement pad, but this also helps repel a little bit of water. So if it was raining, it won't just like pour off the end. A little bit might come through, but a lot of it will slide down. It the helps shade. define your space too. Yeah, that's what I was really liking about this. If you have a neighbor. I mean, it, it's not like much blocking. We can see through it, but it kind of just fills you in here. So I'm hoping in a few days, I'll have a nice patio set here, fireplace over there in that corner. It'd be fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, this was bonus item number one, guys. And it's not, it's ain't any more than the electronic lock. So it's a pretty good idea. And that's for this size. Yes. So let's go check out bonus item number two. Bonus item number 10 is the... Number 10, number two. Geez, I am confused. Bonus item number two... Editing James here. Clearly I need some help learning how to count. Is the Blackstone... Is Adventure I, Ready Grill. Yeah, so, I mean, it's gonna look a little bit dirty to you guys, guys, but like I use this thing all the time. I know you were saying there's a sale on it right now, Black Friday sale? Walmart, Black Friday sale on the Adventure Ready Grill like this. Doesn't have the stand, but it's 117 bucks. Yes, uh, the stand is nice if you do go with that option because you can fold in the legs and like that height that you see when you when you want to close it, that height, that's it. So like as you guys can see, like my storage bay looks a little crowded right now, but I can slide it directly in there when I'm traveling so, or transporting. So this is tabletop. You can put it on a picnic table, a tailgate, or buy a different stand. You don't have to go with their stand. I found one the other day with had four shelves on the side, it looked even more useful. If you're using this all the time, guys, I definitely recommend you do get a propane tank, yeah. a small one for grilling, because if you're actually using the canisters, because it does have the hookup for it, so you can just plug in that canister, it's only going to last you a time or two. So help yourself, get yourself one of those. These things are great for steaks, burgers, onions, mushrooms, egg. It's Omelets, like a, yeah, yeah, anything. It's like a griddle. Of course, if you like grilling, they, you can get like a Weber grill or something, but this here is all around awesome. You cook vegetables on this too which you can't easily do on a grill. So that's a great bonus item, I would say. Uh, if you guys can pick yourself up one, you might catch a sale. Tell Highly that recommend. Walmart sale, 117 bucks is unheard of. Yes. So for Blackstone, go with it. All right, guys. So now, since you have the bonus items, at least we remembered. So two more ideas for you, two more ideas for you guys. Yeah, uh, they're, and they're not any more expensive than... The most expensive thing that we show this, this yeah, lock. All, everything's under the price of that. So everything here is under 200 bucks, pretty much. Exactly. It's it's beautiful. So I think that pretty much sums up this video. Again, want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. I think this video will probably come happy out holidays. tomorrow. So happy holidays to you. Uh, if you have any questions on any of this equipment, you want to ask us anything about full-time RVing, please drop it in the comment section below. I know I always get to it if it's a question I can't answer. We, I, I send him messages. We will have links to all this stuff. They are affiliate links, which helps our channel. We appreciate that, guys. We do appreciate the support. It doesn't cost you guys anything. Yeah, and if you're I know, doing your holiday shopping, click through our link if you don't mind. Yeah, we would appreciate it. Yeah, and it, it makes things easier for you. You don't have to sit here and go typing in the titles. Just click the link. Yeah. You're good to go. So that's everything we have for this edition. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate it. Hit that it's bell so easy to do. It just... You yeah, know, actually take a minute right now. Hit, just hit that little button over there. Yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Hit the bell. We appreciate it. It's not going to hurt you. It's one click. Actually, two clicks if you're not subscribed. Like we said, we have that, that Yo Link video coming up, which I'm telling you, that, that stuff's useful. The, so hit that bell notification so you get that. And thumbs up. We appreciate it. So thumbs that sums it up. Yeah, until next time, guys, try something new. Do a little bit of everything. And happy holidays.